today I'm going to teach you or show you how to make an ocean zone bottle. As you can see, there's an animal floating in there. There's one on the bottom. Um, there's the four layers of colors that we put on the back, and then there's the zones on the front. Um, and I'm going to show you how we did that. And that is part of our Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day Apologia curriculum. That's the notebook, and this is the textbook. We, this is part of chapter one, and part of chapter one goes over the different zones in the ocean. So in our class, we did our, we actually make these research journals, and we worked on those, and we did a folder activity. And if you wanna see how we put the folders together for our class, um, you can check back to see some other videos that I will do on how to put the folders together for each chapter for our class. We actually do this in a homeschool co-op setting and we do it at home as well throughout the week and then on Fridays we get together as a class and we go over our lesson. All right, the supplies you're going to need to make your ocean zone bottle are some plastic bottles. These are from uh, the flavored water bottles at Walmart. They're a little bigger than a normal water bottle um, and not as and they're smaller than like a two liter bottle and they're a lot thicker and sturdier so they aren't they don't crinkle very well and they just seem to be really good they're nice and smooth for our stickers so we use these um, you're going to have to have some packing tape you need some thread you also need some super glue and you need um, some of these small plastic sea creatures I got mine from Amazon and these are actually uh, or from Oriole Training, um, Amazon sent them to me. And there's about 90 different sea creatures in there. We actually have, uh, we're using a shark today, that's what we chose. And you also need to, to cut some construction paper um, in four, five different colors. We use black, it actually goes like this on the bottle. There, from the bottom up, it goes black, brown, purple, dark blue, and light blue. And the top zone, obviously, would be the sunlit zone because it's lighter and it's closer to the surface, so the sunlight gets to it. And the bottom would be the trench, or the trench which is uh, completely black because no sunlight can reach that. So those are the supplies you're going to need. Okay, so you're going to take your paper, which I have the five colors, and I glue them together so they're in a row. And I'm going to put it on the back of my Ocean Zone bottle. And I take two pieces of packing tape. And I just secure that on there. And then I put one on the other side. And I have mine pre-cut, but you can do whatever you need to do. So I do that. The next step is we put our Ocean Zone stickers on. On this bottle, I have them uh, pre-printed, or you could have your children write them. And I actually put them kind of off to the side. Um, right where the zone is, if you can see the, the light blue is the top, so that would be the sunlit zone. And beneath that is the twilight zone. That's the dark blue. The third one is the purple, that would be the midnight zone. The brown would be the abyss. In the very bottom, the black is the trench. That's the bottom of the ocean. So you put your labels on. And next, I'm going to show you what to do after you fill it with water. Okay, so I have my bottle filled up with water. I put it right above the sunlit zone. And if, you're, if your labels start to peel off a little bit, you can put a piece of clear packing tape over those. So my kids wanted to put um, a bottom dweller in the bottles too. So they had two animals in there. So like my daughter put a starfish in her bottom of hers. I'm going to put a snail in the bottom of ours. And they do sink. And then I'm going to put a string, that's what you need the thread for, around one of the others. There's dolphins, sharks, sea turtles. Um, and my daughter has some sea turtles here, some more sharks. There's all sorts that they can pick from, octopus. So I put a string around one and you're just gonna put it in the bottle and put it down as low as you want it to go. We'll let it swim halfway down. And then I probably kind of wrap it around the top because once you put the lid on, um, it'll stay. And then you're gonna take a little bit of super glue
if you want it. It keeps the kids from taking it out. And I put that along inside the top of the cap. I put some super glue in there. And then I'm going to put that on nice and tight. And then that will dry after a few minutes. And then there is your ocean zone bottle. You have your shark in there. You have the five ocean zones. You have the uh, bottom dweller um, in the bottom of the trench. And I have the colored paper on the back. This is how you make your ocean zone project. I hope you enjoyed watching. This is uh, homesteadonabudget.com. Um, have a blessed day.